Guten Abend, alle miteinander. Welcome back to Tom Play Civ 6 for absolute beginners. We are back with the Germans and we're hopefully going to finish off the Egyptians. So, yeah, we've taken all the biggest cities. Most of the ones we've got left are pretty small. I don't think anyone's going to help them particularly. Zanzibar, I believe, is still on our side. It should be a plus. We've also just started to form cores. So we need to keep an eye out for any of our units that have got two stars on because they will be more powerful than your average unit. I'm also thinking that maybe we should look at science as a secondary. Ah, seaside resorts. So this is a culture victory thing again. The culture victory is all about tourists. Pretty much. So yeah, I suppose that's another option. It's just one that Tomiris and the Scythians are currently ahead of us on. Uh, actually, advanced ballistics is a more military option. Let's go with that. No huge hurry for tourism. Okay, looks like I built a Hansa in Berlin, so let's build a workshop. Uh, so yeah, the, the other advantage that Frederick of the Germans has, apart from his military prowess, is that we can have one additional district per city based on city size which is an advantage in I think anything other than maybe religion Going defense against uh, religion. I'm basically hoping, as long as we can keep some sort of fight going on on this continent, that they won't send a flood of missionaries across to attack our main continent. So I'm not really concerned if cities over here don't follow our religion, but any that do act as a kind of bulwark will hopefully attract attention. From the two major civilizations here who are both big on religion. Possibly stop them from wanting to make a religious assault on our main continent. And as long as that doesn't happen, then there's no danger of us losing to a religious victory. Which is great, so then we only need to worry about the score, which we're winning on. Culture, which I don't think Tomorus is easily going to actually gain a victory on, and science, which we're winning on. This is Tria, isn't it? Right, Tria, I do still need more field cannons, I believe. I don't know if we have one. So I'll tell you if you go there and start bombarding Summit. Infantry should actually go into Swinnet itself. Don't necessarily want to attack though, just yet. It 
is an infantry. Actually, no, it looks like the, the city walls are gone. And it is an infantry course, they should be more powerful than I'm used to. Yeah, I've done quite a bit of damage there. Okay, so we made a new field cannon. So, who does not have one? Alright, Bremen has one. We've kept the cities near to Egypt fully defended, but Augsburg needs one. So, if you remember, we're building them in Trier because Trier has like the military academy and stuff, so all the military units Trier builds are. Ah. They're basically more powerful. Okay, she's still offering quite a lot of money. But, uh. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bother. I have absolutely no reason to make peace. Basically, the game Civilization is so heavily based around cities that I think having her cities will give us a. I, mean, I think we already had a, a great advantage through the cities we've taken. But if we take the rest of Cleopatra's or, you know, at least destroy them all, take the ones we can, I just think we're going to be so far ahead that there's no danger of us. Still so losing, and I think we'll win on score, even if we don't win any other way. There we go, yes I would like to keep this city as well please. So the raising city option, I think one of the reasons is that if you're not planning to go for a big conquest thing, as long as you hold someone's city they will always hate you, until you give it back, whereas if you raise it I would assume, oh, repair out of defences, that sounds good. I'd assume that it's possible for them to forgive you. I hadn't actually realised we needed to do that. So that's good. Let's do that in all of our captured cities. And we'll start moving down to attack this place. Yep, yeah, I actually thought I wasn't Utterly terrible languages, but I cannot come up with any way to pronounce that. <sighs> Haven't ever studied Egyptian though, sir. So. Okay, so plus one appeal. So right, this is to do with tourism again. It's a bit of a problem because we've got loads of oil. I don't know if we're going to lower our appeal, but then we do have a White Cliffs of Dover here, so... We don't need to like buy them, do we? Oh, well, we're probably going to have any choice. We're steadily losing money. Building more military units isn't going to be helping with that. I think we should think of some alternative ways to raise funds. Next time we're building buildings. Just trying to fill in the remaining details of the map. I also have a feeling that we actually have an archaeological museum in Aachen, so we really need to build an archaeologist. Pillaging our double... Oh, I don't really need that. These others are generally quite good. So we're not building as many defensive buildings now. Maybe we should try this. Just because we are quite advanced. It might give us some extra gold. Uh, what are we thinking about these... Oh! Sorry, what was expropriation? Is that another new one? There we are. Towards settlers. Right, we're not building that many settlers. Okay, great merchant points, great engineer points. I do like the great engineers, I have to say. But I do wonder if maybe we should try to do some extra science. Uh, 
Yeah. Should be quite ahead. Although the great general points. We've now got more of them. Hmm. But then we have quite a few great generals anyway. Admittedly some of them may need retiring at some point. Because I think they only have advantages for certain levels of technology. Okay, we have a plus towards 15 population. We could also do with building an art museum because a themed building is going to be beyond us. Okay, so this place here, I think... Broadcast Centre would be great. What's the Eiffel Tower give us? Extra appeal. Is that in the whole civilization? Okay, that would be useful, but I do want to give you an archaeologist. If nothing else, I wouldn't mind covering how they operate. Also, I can build some more spies as well. Okay, envoys. So we've got four envoys. So let's bring Buenos Aires up to three, because you do tend to get an extra plus when you get three envoys. And let's spend the other three on the cities we're already suzerain of, just to make sure we remain suzerain. Might be overkill, but I don't want to suddenly find that Valletta's fighting against me. Okay, so... Artillery. Let's take this thing down, aren't we? Okay, so this is infantry as well. Artillery at range and attack bombard. Are we just too far away? Let me try and move them. Oh, maybe that's... Oh, sorry, being stupid. That's our encampment. This is theirs. Which means this artillery is going to attack by the city and the encampment now, which isn't good. Never mind. Uh, Tomaris wants us to give us some money. Nope. You do whatever makes you happy. Not convinced you're that big a threat. See, I don't think Egypt has any other cause, so they're having very little effect on us. Because we're attacking with a core instead of a single unit. We have entered the Atomic Era. Right, so we've got a new defensive unit now. This will replace a field cannon. We also have anti-air guns, which you might want to think about. We've also got some new city-state quests. Okay, right, we've got a plus towards computers. So let's go for that. Let's probably check out these quests. Here we go for rocketry. Recruit a great artist. Inspired for cultural heritage. Okay, Carthage wants to be religiously converted. Can do. Train a helicopter for Stockholm. Might be able to get that out of a cavalry unit, because I think they count as cavalry. And we do have a knight. Recruit a great writer. Inspiration for Cold War. And train a destroyer. Right. So the great writer and the great 
artist we could maybe do with our wildcard slots. Cologne, right. I mean, I, it's great to be carrying on with the power plant, but I really want an art museum. Not totally sure if that's still something we need, because all our quests have been replaced, but I'd also like to move this artist actually do something with the arts. We could do more than one art museum actually. Sort of get into them once we've got one built. But for now, let us take well, let's see if we can take this. Let's see if we can I can start just bombarding the city. Okay, guess not. I shall bombard it forthwith. Oh! Excellent. Right. So, do we want to build here or do we want to build up there? Further away from the Niter? I'm just thinking we're leaving room for another. Of course, it might turn out the a settler we leave room for isn't our own. We really need two more settlers fairly fast. Who's this? Oh. Okay, no one to war with Carthage. I'm just wondering why my ship appears to be injured. Oh, it's just because I drove it too close to... Whatchamacallit. Egypt, as I was going past, wasn't it? I'm going to be retiring most of these now. Okay, that's not good. That's a spy. Oh, brilliant, we killed them. Nope. So they... Yes, that's nice. I don't really care. Right, so basically... Tommy was spying on us in Aachen, is trying to sabotage our production again. So I'm wondering if she was the one who did it originally. Although I imagine everyone's trying it. And now our counter spy mission succeeded, actually killed their spy, which is brilliant. Obviously saved the industrial zone from being sabotaged again, and they've got a promotion. That is absolutely fantastic. We can also get an apostle, we've got a Cassus Belly to declare a war on Philip II. Okay, that was brilliant. Brilliant all around it. Right, sometimes you have to keep clicking these until you get an actual unit, because you don't tend to want to... Yeah, okay. You don't tend to want to move the escorted things, so like the generals and the medics and things like that. You're better off doing all your stuff with the actual unit. Okay, so... Time to complete all mission duty. Well, that's actually not very useful, given I've got them on counter-spying. Still have to do siphon funds. To be honest, I don't get any of them useful as long as I've got them counter-spying. We do need more spies. So yeah, we'll keep clicking this until we get the actual artillery. And we're going to just bombard them. close to the city because we're going to bombard the city. Uh, Infantry Corps we will move in to take the encampment. So we no longer need to worry about that. Hmm. Oh, extra range. I'll be able to move further out now. City with a settler. Carry on exploring. Right. What should I build with you? Right, so we've no longer got the ability to build city walls. 
It's one reason I took the um, policy out of defensive buildings. They've already got a, a defensive unit, so I'm actually just going to start with a monument. I'm assuming that the settler will take forever at the moment, won't it? Can't even build them. Although, admittedly, we could possibly do with a builder. If I could do with builders all round. Let's kind of think about it. next time we're setting the policies. Maybe see if we've got one that's good for builders again. Because we discovered oil and things like that, and we're basically just not exploiting it right now. Okay, you just sleep until the art museum has been finished. Uh, right, infantry. I want to move you next to the city. Field cannon, we don't have gold. We really need to build traders and things before we run out and start losing military units. Which is the last thing we want. Whereas on the other hand, the first thing we want is... Holy cow, they've left a builder undefended. I was just saying how much I could do with a builder. I am so getting that builder if I can. Until they can, although it says we destroyed them, which is upsetting. Never mind, right, so normally I would build a seaport, however, with our terrible lack of funds in mind, let's build a trader. I don't know if Mance has a trader, it may have. Uh, oh, what's Alhambra? extra military policy slot. <laughs> well, to be honest, we're kind of drowning in military policy slots. And actually, let's build a workshop there. Thebes. Thebes needs to repair out of defences, but apparently that's going to take it forever. Yeah, let's repair the grid first, then. At least we can do that in a reasonable time. Move into position to start bombarding the city. Infantry, right, you fortify and took healed. Uh, Wolfric, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with the counter spying. It's worked pretty well. This is awaiting a sign. Alright, oh, good, they decide what to protect. So I think before the science district was quite a good option. The cabins. Because remember, they protect not only the district they're in, but every district around. So that covers most of our districts, I think. So it's not a bad choice for a counter spy. But I do feel that we really ought to have built up to our limit of spies. So, mildly concerned that we don't have more. I'm going to move that scout there because I don't think I have any use for them anymore. In fact, I might even get rid if we can. I'm just thinking they probably do take some upkeep. And I just honestly don't have a lot of use for them. Now that we've pretty much discovered everything. Slightly upset that we destroyed that builder. Okay, he wants nitre. <laughs> and that is a terrible offer. Absolutely not. I'm not giving you nitre anyway. No military technologies to people who are not allies. And everybody hates us. They've all denounced us. Back to Aachen. Okay, so Aachen. Well, we could make another trader. We could also make a settler pretty quickly and a builder. I'm going to make a settler 
even though it's going to reduce our population simply because I want one fairly fast. Uh, yes, please start bombarding the city. <laughs> okay, apparently we can't bombard the city from there, but we can do it from here. Ultimate Exploration. Haven't actually noticed that option before. Okay, so we finally built an archaeologist. It's this fella here. So we currently have an archaeological museum which will accept, I think, three... archaeological finds. So what you generally want to do is you get the survival museums as well you can what they call theme them hmm. let's see so generally you want three archaeological finds from the same era if possible but from different civilizations so i'm actually going to start this guy off on this other continent Usually people get annoyed if you dig up an archaeological find in their territory. However, I don't think Buenos Aires will care. And usually they'll just ask you not to and you can in effect just take one from each and then promise not to do it again and then leave it for a while. Okay, he wants pearls and diamonds. Both of which we have two of, and he will give us marble and gold. I will accept that. I don't think it's a good deal, but it doesn't involve us giving them anything military, and it will give us a bit more money, and we are hemorrhaging that very quickly. Okay, I think we've just built a wonder. Oh, Big Ben. Oh, rather, you know, the clock tower. Big Ben's the name of the bell. <laughs> but there you go. Actually, I'm not sure if it isn't the Queen Elizabeth Tower now, if it were renamed it for the Jubilee. Not totally sure, though. Don't quote me on that. Of course. Right, so apparently one of our economic things has been replaced. Or, oh no, I think Big Ben's given us an extra policy slot. So what I did want to do was gain something that would help us with builders. So that helps with settlers. Production towards builders and newly trained builders getting two extra build actions. And that is what I was looking for. I think now we do have a mission for a great artist and a great writer. So I'm actually going to change over just to get those missions. Not completely certain of where we're up to. Might turn out to be a big mistake. Oh, also, we just got a great merchant, so that's good. The great scientist was so far behind with where I wanted to want it anyway, whereas the great artist were a little behind, so this might make a difference. The great ride through looks like we're going to get anyway. So, yeah, not too bad, really. Okay, research. We don't have any boosts to anything. So let's go for something we probably won't get a boost from. We're definitely going to get one for that. Might not build biplanes anytime soon, although really we should be doing. Not sure about globalisation either, we're probably behind on civics. And we do need it for science, so maybe we'll do robotics actually. Just thinking we probably do want to build biplanes, we are military. We've got a boost towards mass media, so let's go for that. We've gained a great merchant who will grant one oil 
trade routes gain plus two gold for each strategic resource at the destination city. So I'm not entirely sure whether they need to go to a particular city. If they do, I will probably take them to Aachen. Right. I really would like to build the Hermitage. On the other hand, I wonder if I should do that in Cologne, because it's actually an art city. What do we need for the Hermitage? It must be adjacent to a river. Maybe Cologne doesn't have any. So I'm probably going to build a theatre square here. My new builders. No, I'll tell you what, let's actually... Oh. No, nope, let's not. Right, excellent. In that case, I would like you to build a builder first, and then I might build a trader and then an art district. So this merchant... No, nope, still not on the merchant. We are building something... Trader, I should say. Oh no, great merchant, sorry. Yeah. Need to build something in London. Okay, well this is London, so the stock exchange would make sense. almost forgetting that we're still at war with Egypt. That was basically my whole purpose for this one. Uh, okay, artillery corps. Right, I need you to start attacking Serna. Uh, John Rockefeller. Right, you go to Aachen, just in case it does matter which city we go to. Woken them up, really? Well, I did. So we're fine. So we've taken the unpronounceable city. Yes, please, I would love to keep it. Might be the last one we actually get to keep, because if the population is too low, I'm not sure if we might not end up destroying them anyway. Okay, well, let's repair the granary first. Got another infantry, so. Start moving on Sena. Apologies for butchering the pronunciation. Not sure if the names will be classical Egyptian or Arabic. Or even Greek actually. Depending on when the cities were built, I suppose, in the real world. We have finished the Colosseum. things that quickly. Alright, this is the great merchant, isn't it? I wonder why... Oh, he's got to go on the completed commercial hub. Right. Fair enough then, let's do Leeds. Leeds makes sense. So we're now gaining money, so that's something. Leeds, right, wonderful. Well, let's build a zoo, finish off the entertainment district, because it's the only entertainment district we currently have. Laventa. Um, I really need to start building sewers, to be honest. I haven't really built any. get a bit of gold. Why not? Artillery. Okay. Infantry Corps, which has a promotion. Archaeologist, right, so in this case, make sure you don't select that. In fact, I'm going to press this minus. So we press the plus to get the option to delete a unit. I'm going to mi minus it because it's, it's basically there to stop you clicking it by accident. 
escalate an arch artifact. Apparently, we. Oh, see! Right, so we haven't really got any petroleum or anything, because that would suck, because it's not in our territory. <laughs> this is basically because we've extracted an artifact, we've gained a boost towards combustion. That's all. It's just the way it's saying it. Right, well, let's get all for Buenos Aires, because you can get barbarians. Anyway, sometimes you get the choice as to which nation the artifact will come from and remember we want to vary this as much as possible and Buenos Aires you're only going to get artifacts here whereas barbarians are all over the world so definitely Buenos Aires so we have got a classical artifact okay an axe from the classical era so we've got this option now to view great works so these are the, the potential museums we have we only have one archaeological museum so you do have the option to swap them around, but you see it says theming, one of three. If we get three of three, it gives us a much bigger boost to culture and tourism. So you should also always try to theme them if you can. And the more archaeological museums we have, the more options we will have to theme things. At the moment we only have one. The same will go for art museums when we have one. We also have temples which can store relics, but I don't think these can be themed and you don't get these as often to be honest and also works of art the only place we can store them at the moment is the palace and we can only store one actually looks like the palace can store anything which is cool and the amphitheater will store writing great works of writing as will the great library so again we can theme these I'm not entirely sure how. At least I think we can theme, we can definitely theme works of art and works of archaeology because there's three. I'm not quite so sure about these, although I do tend to like to mix them up anyway, like not have two works of writing by the same author. It built another builder. Very keen. But it looks like we're just destroying them anyway, so. I hope it wasn't because we had the general along. So we couldn't have a builder on the same slot as the general. Okay, so this is actually turned into a machine gun. Because we upgraded to machine guns part way through. So Memphis still needs a defensive unit. I'm going to give Memphis the field cannon. Because I kind of feel that Trier should be able to keep its machine gun having built it. Wonderful. So I think. Well, we might need one more. Because we do need to defend the new city that we're going to be building. How quickly can we build another one? Machine gun. They do take a while, actually. I would like to build. Mm. I'll tell you what, let's make another trade here. Because we're losing money again. Right, so the archaeologist could go here, but I'm worried it might still be Buenos Aires if we go there. Plus, there's a lot of places out here we could go that aren't technically belonging to anyone. Let's go here, we might be able to get Jerusalem. Do you need to build a destroyer at some point as well, which I think is a naval unit? Okay. See if we can just take this. No, I suppose it was a bit unlikely. Maybe the core could have done it, but actually thinking about it, we're probably going to need some um, machine guns for these as well. That's forgetting that we're still taking cities. Cleopatra. If we come this far, we might as well finish the job, I think. Oh brilliant, we've um, we've made an art museum. That's good. Gives us a boost towards opera. Actually, I think that was why we needed it. So that is great. Okay, so 
months isn't that big but I'm actually thinking we should build a builder for us okay so this artist if they wake up can now go here so to start with so we built the Annunciation this is a religious work so to start with we're just going to put everything in this one art museum but I think we do get the option to shuffle them around later so not the end of the world right Cologne Cologne well I would like you to build a power plant actually because it will speed things up for building everything else okay we've built a builder here we should really have a monument can't believe we don't have one yet Ulm should Ulm build? What does Ulm have? Ulm does not yet have a harbour, amazingly, but can still build a builder in three turns. So let's build a builder. Right, great. So, where should the builders go? Right, we've got cattle to start with. Literally up for making any improvements we can. Infantry. Let's see if there's anyone else first, like artillery. So may as well bombard them a bit first. It's more like it. Now we'll send the infantry in. Excellent. So we did get to keep that city, which is brilliant. Hang on, which city is this? Oh, it's the Sena. Right, so we've probably got some repairs to do. No, apparently we do not, apart from outer defences, so let's repair those. Mance has built a trader. How far east can we go? Well, we could trade with Dortmund. On the other hand, we could trade with Pokrovka might be a better option there he yeah, has a lot of gold from Pokrovka plus a bit of science and some industry that's probably a better option I'm honestly thinking it being 1880 even though time kind of slows down the closer you get to the end I really don't fancy our chances of winning a military victory here Build improvement, so I think I might, once we've finished off the Egyptians, switch over to science and culture. Because I don't think we've got any real chance of doing a religious victory. I mean, it's possible, but with these two, kind of doubt it. I see they haven't managed to overcome each other, which is a relief. Because that's probably the only reason we haven't seen an enormous tide of missionaries heading our way. Right, so we're going to take down the last three Egyptian cities. I'm actually hoping, after Sena, that we'll get to keep this one. Not so sure about the other two. Okay, we have another settler. Tell you what, I'm going to join the settler to Archon's field cannon. And I'm going to send them here. So we're going to need a third settler to take this island, if at all possible. Right, we're going to just do our works of art. Another religious one by the same guy. Doesn't count as a theme though. I think we need a religious art by a different painter, basically, is the problem. But that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll have them all there for now and we will build some other ones strongly suspect we're going to end up doing the science anyway research lab versus broadcast center okay let's do the research lab first right frankfurt okay let's head up here and mine some copper we do need to get oil if we can we do have a few builders on the way. 
infantry. Alright, let's do our this one. Not too concerned. Artillery Corps, right, I do want you to head over there. I'd imagine you and the Infantry Corps together can probably take the remaining cities without any help. But I'll probably send this artillery over anyway to help. And have the Infantry coming back, right. What do we get? Gain 100 gold. It'd be handy in some ways, but let's upgrade you. Landed here, so let's see what we can get. Choose artifact, right? Let's go with Jerusalem again. So, this one is classical again, so that is brilliant. So, we've actually got theming two or three now, you see. So, if we can get to three or three, this should markedly increase, which gives us a big plus towards both a culture victory and I think more importantly. I'm quite interested in this automate exploration, but uh, I don't think I'll bother. More importantly, preventing Atomerists from gaining a culture victory. Okay, we have gained a new great person. We've got another great engineer, Nikola Tesla. Regional buildings provide plus two production. Regional buildings reach three tiles farther. That's interesting. Does that mean we want to choose somewhere with a Hansa that is... ...nice and close to more than one city, maybe? You still need more machine guns. I'm just thinking the whole science thing. Let's build a research lab. Frankfurt. Frankfurt doesn't have a theatre square, so I do feel a bit funny about giving it the Hermitage. I would like to build a theatre square. I'm just also a little conscious that the Eiffel Tower would be incredibly useful for Tomerist. And she seems to be going for a culture victory. Okay, we've made a builder in Ulm. Which is great. I don't think Ulm has any traders, so let's build a trader. I'd quite like to max out on traders. There's a limit to how many traders you can have. Or well, really how many trade routes, but it won't let you build a trader if you can't have another trade route. Okay. Encampment. Okay, so Tria has another trader. Let's do Seville. Battleship, I want to rest and repair. Should it be good? Infantry, may as well head towards the next city. Oh, this is our artist again, isn't it? So the final work is a Ascension, religious art. So there we go. Ah, right, so we can move it, but not for another eight turns, which is fine, because it'll probably take longer than that to build another art museum. So we've now got Nikola Tesla, so we choose Hansa. Honestly, very hard to pick. I guess this, because it's quite central. And honestly, I'm not sure it's going to make any difference in the end. Nonetheless, however good or bad our placing of it, it's still... Um, still benefited us. Okay, so we've got a builder. Do we have a mine here? Yeah, looks like 
a mine. Oh, oil. Can we do oil? Have we got plastics? No. We can't yet do oil, but we can do coal. And it's high time we did. Uh, oh, yeah, we were graded, so we've got to redo the escort formation. And you... Nearly there. Nope. Sorry, Cleopatra, I intend to actually wipe you out. Trader in Leeds, though, once it's finished for Zoo. Uh, right, Memphis, Memphis. Nothing immediately jumping out as something we should be building. Have anyone else doing a settler? Don't know if we do, actually. I'd quite like to do a spy, but I might do a settler in Memphis, because we do need another one. Uh, Lost Island. La Benta, right. Um, well, it does look kind of like you're up for a seaport. Bremen needs a factory. Okay, builder. Right, well, seeing as you're starting there, let's do the pearls. That's fair. to stay alert but not actually do anything right now see it's now begging the question of no I don't think we actually can just take them on ourselves unfortunately okay let's Set Saladin. Choose Artifact. So we can have Saladin or Philip II. Or seeing as Saladin has got it, let's go with him. Right, it looks like it's a medieval artifact, unfortunately, so we haven't managed to do our theming. So we just need more archaeological museums. Philip is not fond. It's a shame, really, because I'm probably going to turn peaceful once we've dealt with Cleopatra. So this is Saladin being upset because we are taking archaeological finds from his territory. So I'm going to apologise because, well, there's no harm in doing it. It's going to be a while before we build another museum and these promises have a shelf life. I think by the time it comes up again, we will be able to do it. Right, so we've lost one of our policies here. Actually, not sure I remember which one it was. Propaganda. Oh, war weariness. I know, I should think about war weariness. Maybe I should have done. Military academies and seaports generate plus one science. That sounds good. I'd take that actually. Give us a bit more science at least. I uh, don't think I'll change anything else. Although we have done some builders. Should I maybe not switch in the builders for a bit? could we do instead of doing the builders 
extra production towards wonders. We are going to have quite a few trade routes. We're also going to have quite a lot of districts to be fair. Hmm. Culture and science from international trade routes. I didn't quite like that. Let's go with that. Yep. Okay, we had a plus towards opera and ballet because we're not a museum, so that will actually only take us two turns, which is great. Augsburg apparently needs a factory. Before anything else. Thieves. Should we build in Thebes? Well, we still need to repair the outer defences, to be fair. Uh, right. Field cannon. It's fine. Infantry court. That will be a minor defeat. Let's fortify until healed for now. Okay, builder. Right, there's wheat here. So we can build a farm. I really wish these artillery units moved a bit faster. Okay, build a farm. Another trader. Okay, let us go for. Tell you what, I think what we can do is do it based on science, say. So Geneva and Stockholm are the best options for science, so let's do Stockholm. Helicopter, aren't they? Copper, build a mine. Yeah, I might actually attack and then just try to heal a bit. He's still done a bit of damage. Plus, it gives him more experience potentially. attack from that far away. Nope, sorry. Well, I am interested in this war weariness thing. I <laughs> wasn't actually aware of that. I don't seem to be having any massive problems because of it though. As far as I can tell. Okay, opera and ballet. So it's giving me grand opera. I don't think I'm too concerned about that. So let's just leave things as they are. Next civic. Okay, we don't have any pluses. Free core in your military. We are quite close to that. Capitals and free stock exchanges. We're not very close to that. But then we're not that close to having a theme building either. That would be very good for our military. But then it'd be so easy to get that one. All we need is just to form one more core. So I think we're probably first from a stock exchange. Uh, I don't know actually. Theme building, plus we got free otherwise. Do that one and, and make a note to build more stock exchanges. Okay, so we've got two additional envoys. Right, how about if we hit. Let's see. Let's have a go at Geneva. Okay, build up, so we'll start mining coal. Don't really remember what this gives us. I'm not sure if we can't actually do oil on land before we can do it in the ocean. 
so it might be that we actually could do oil just not in the water anyway let's go do some coal down there artillery excellent Great, but can we do another bombardment first? A lot of smaller cities don't have encampments either, which also really helps. There we go. Let's keep this city. Could actually do with settlers for down here, because this city is presumably not going to get kept. Oh, I don't know, it's probably about to... I don't know, maybe if it gains another population before we take it. That might just be enough. And always live in hope. Right, what have we got here? Fish. Do we need a builder down here? I'm feeling we do. If I could do with developing this city more. Still producing medieval walls, I don't know if there's even any use of them anymore. <sighs> Never mind, right. What are we on with now? Infantry, right. Let's just send you over. We might be able to take them, but don't have any city walls. Yeah, we could do with um Getting a builder with a guard and sending them down. Or maybe just quitting on the medieval walls and making a builder locally instead. Might be a better idea. I mean, the medieval walls do help in terms of tourism, I think. So they're not a bad thing. Great person. Okay, we've got another great admiral, which I have almost no use for. We could use that though, I suppose. Or maybe we could retire one of the existing ones. Oh, no, let's do that one. Retire them. Okay, so you can head down to that one. Now, I wanted to get you to move there. new one can go to Magdeburg for when we inevitably build a destroyer because I think we were supposed to be building a destroyer unfortunately I can't actually see destroyer as an option hmm. there is an upgraded ironclad maybe we just haven't got there yet well in that case let us build a Hansa London. London could actually really do with a Hansa as well. That's quite a good option. Right, so I've got a builder here with four more. Build. So I'm thinking if we join them to this field cannon, send the field cannon down, we can produce a core of field cannons. And that should give us that bonus we need. You need to go and wait near Magdeburg. <laughs> the 
and muscle the ovary out, just really quite keen to just finish off Cleopatra. Just make a nice ending. Not happy about those settlers though. I suppose we would go for this city instead, maybe. So you're going to destroy this city and then Tomaris is just going to settle where it was. Which would be annoying. We have entered the information era. Robotics. Okay, excellent. Right, we've got a bonus towards combustion because of the artifact. That's good. Archon, right. Well... We have a few options actually. The broadcast centre again would be good. In fact, let's do the broadcast centre. I've been putting it off for ages. Okay, months. I think I need you to do a seaport. Leeds. Now, I did really want Leeds to do a trader because of the merchant that we settled there. Don't know for sure it'll make any difference, but just in case. Uh, campus. Right, that would be a good place for campus, but we can't afford the cost yet. Problem is, all the places we can build things are <laughs> quite good in their own right. Uh, maybe we should build a harbour actually, because that won't get rid of anything that's also good itself, and it will get much benefits. Okay, so this particular one, let's do Stockholm. I end up sending everyone to Stockholm if I'm not careful. You do Geneva. Instead of taking Abydos, I'm going to go for Apu first. I'm still hoping they're going to gain a unit. Might not happen. Plus it might be that we just destroy Apu anyway. Which in some ways will probably bother me a little less. Because... At least we're going to be being cut off by Tomiris from this city. So let's just see what happens with this one first. We might even be able to just take it with the infantry because it doesn't have any city walls. And we do have an infantry core. So I'm hoping this will be pretty quick. Okay, I need you to head down there. Definitely going to need some more of the machine guns, or whatever they're called, that is the modern defensive ranged unit. No. So that would be the other option, I could leave her there as a, like a buffer. Just having come so far. It just doesn't seem much point in not finishing her. Oh, brilliant! Oh, wow, well, that's changed everything now. Also appear to suddenly have a city wall out of nowhere. Not a problem. A trader in Arham. Okay, let's try to trade a bit further with Saladin. Berlin needs power. Keep on with the industrial madness. Okay, Dortmund. What should Dortmund be building? Half inclined to say build it, to be honest. But it's a bit of a shame given we've just given up our advantage for having builders. Let's build a harbour. It'll take ages, but it'll be worth it in the end. 
can always send the builder over from somewhere else. Okay, two envoys. Right, so I'm going to finish that claim on Geneva. I'm going to do another claim on Stockholm. See if we take Apu. This is an infantry core. Still, we're taking a bit of damage there. It's not all one way, is it? in Nechen, right, we're still repairing stuff in Nechen. Right, so let's hit the bombards in a big way. Fine, we'll move that. Ooh, we're down to one. I have a feeling we're not going to be keeping this on. Oh, hang on. No, we are. Oh, brilliant. That's amazing. Right. I was so sure that we'd lost it then. Right. Fantastic. Uh, let's repair the outer defences first. Or anything else, so hopefully we will have no problem keeping Apu as well then. Seeing as they're not even down to one yet, so we should be one turn away from eliminating the Egyptians from the game. Apologies to any Egyptians watching. Yep, just remove the counter spy mission. That does remind me that we do need to build more spies. Okay, plastics. We already have a boost to that. Don't know why, because we haven't built an oil well. I think maybe we got one from a great scientist. Might be an Einstein, actually. Okay. I think there's some jade up there that we have not exploited. Let's go and do that. Leads, I would... I was going to build a trader there. Ah, looks like I might have just built a trader already. Ah, I'll build a second trader, it's fine. I'm going to the Etter again. Leventer, let's see. That looks good. Built a coal mine. Anything else down here? She needs building. Actually, that needs repairing. I think we could probably just take this. Sorry, Cleopatra. Okay, brilliant. So Apu probably needs to repair something. No. Apparently not. It had no outer defences to repair. Fine, build a monument. And yeah, interesting. Okay, well the infantry, I think, can head over here. Because we'll form a core. Um, honestly, hard to be sure. 
this was least fortify until healed. And fortify altogether. City. And okay, you've got a defensive thing already, so I'll build a monument. Field cannon, okay, I can upgrade you. Okay, so next turn is so brilliant. I definitely should stop there. But yeah, that's gone pretty well. I wonder if we could settle someone here actually. But yeah, that'll be for another time. So we've taken Egypt out of the game. However, because we're in 1901, and we've got three more civilizations, and we haven't even started attacking them. I think in some ways I've let them become a bit too strong. Probably could, I mean, we could certainly take them. I'm just not sure we could do it in time. Whereas things like the science, because certainly last I checked we were ahead. Yeah. And even the culture, because I don't think we're that far behind. I think in a sense domination and religion are kind of it's something you sort of need to do throughout the game. And I've possibly been a bit slow moving on the domination. Whereas the science and culture you can mostly pull out of the bag near the end. Especially science, although by the look of it, Tomiris is launching an Earth satellite. So she's actually way ahead of us. However, we do have an amazing industrial capability, so I think we can catch her up. And at the end of the day, if we can't catch her up, well, might not have time to take three civilizations down, but I'm betting we can take down one. So that's the other advantage of the military option. If someone starts winning in another way, you can actually just try to eliminate them as a civilization entirely. But anyway. We've, uh, we've taken Egypt down, sorry we've gone over, I really thought Egypt would be would fall faster than that, but it's taken three whole sessions. But I will finish there and see you next time.